Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be showing you an ear blower that I made myself. Let's scratch today's topic. Before we get into the video, it's been a while since I made a video. It's summer, so I've been doing more activity outdoors and stuff like that. But I will try and work harder to make more videos for you guys. It's getting warmer, so what do people do? Well, for me, I like to go outdoors, I like to fish, I like to go camping and stuff like that. I am planning to go on a camping trip, so I've been preparing for that camping trip. I bought myself a sleeping pad because if you know on camping, if you're sleeping in a tent, and sometimes you will know that there's one bump, right? one bump that is gonna ruin your sleep night so I bought myself a sleeping pad and this sleeping pad is not auto inflatable there's a couple methods you can do you gotta use your mouth to blow air into it you gotta use like a big ear blower to blow air into it or from the sleeping pad itself it has this manual inflatable where there's like a pad and you push on it to push air into the sleeping pad itself that's a lot of work. Most of the sleeping pad I found on Amazon was that you can inflate this in about just one minute, but I try it and it took like four to five, sometimes even ten minutes because it just blows so little air into it. And yes, I know I can just buy an ear blower and just blow air into it very fast, but most of those are quarters. So if I go to a camping site that does not have electricity, I'm kind of doomed for it. So that's why I 3D printed myself an air blower. It's pretty much like the fan and most of the 3D printing, like the Ender 3v3 and the Kill Max. The nozzle cooling fan, so it's pretty much like that style. It just spins and blows air out the top. I will go through the design process of this thing. This is my air blower version 1. So why version 1? Well, I'm going to be remaking a version 2 later in this week. So if you don't want to miss that subscribe to this channel so that when my version 2 comes out you won't miss that video and i promise you it will be so much better than this one this one it blows air but it does not blow that much air i try to inflate it and you can definitely see that it goes up a little bit but not that much oh let's go through the design right now this is kind of like a turbocharged design -ish. so this thing spin you turn on here this thing spin it blows air all the time it blows teeny tiny ears as you can see there's string in there it blows a little thing thing in. So this is removable because if I don't make this removable, the fan will not be able to fit inside there. The next piece to this thing is this fan thingy here. So this is removable from the motor itself. Huh, there we go, I got it off. It's not the best fan design. If any of you know how to design like more air flow efficiency, fan, blade, style, let me know in the comments down below. So this is what I have. And it blows a little bit of air, but not that much. Then for my motor, it sits on this motor holder inside of there. And this terrible charge like design here is removable. You just twist it a little bit and you can just pull it out. Finally got it off. So I designed it like this. You push this in and then you rotate it so that it gets locked in these two lock down here. And now we are left with this boxer. Uh, for me, I like to design things at a minimalistic, try to make it as small as possible, but still efficient as possible. I try it, but it actually turns out to be quite large. So this is the motor that I use. Um, if I remember correctly, this motor is rated up to 3 voltage. So if I use more than 2 AA battery, it might overheat this and it might burn all my PLA. So I got this wire in inside of this box, which is also removable. So here, I got it removed. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a very simple circuit wire. You just have a battery hook up to a switch, which is this one. And then the other side of the switch hook up to the motor and goes back into the battery. It's a very, very simple design and it works really well. Um, the battery is not overheating. If you have this off, the battery is not going to overheat. And yeah, it's not the best design. I tried to make these wire guy but i make them a little bit too big so it does not fit really well in there and yeah let me show you why i need to make it this big because battery is taking this spot the motor is taking the middle spot and then here is the space for the wires and for the switch here so that's why it's actually this long and this tall it's just because of the components that needs to be fitted inside of this box here why is this so big? Well, because this switch is coming up all the way here and the wire has to go out. So from my past experience of working with this kind of 
switch here, it's a circle switch. When I first worked with these switch, I make them small and just barely fits where these two negative and positive connection. I just make it towards there and I had a very hard time wiring things and connect it to the switch. So that's why I make this huge, like about 10 to 15 millimeter space up here for the wires to be in there so that it fits nicely and without any wire interfering. I feel like this is a pretty good design, but if I want to make it more stronger so that it can blow air faster into my sleeping pad, I need to make at least two AA battery or three AA battery and this motor can handle three AA battery. I try it and it actually inflated super fast. But like I said, it's not ready for more than three voltage. So if I keep doing that for like a long period of time, I think I might blow this motor and or make the motor super hot up to the point that it's gonna melt my PLA. So like I said, I did order a couple motors and those motors are going to be a little bit stronger but it advertised to be a lot stronger so we will just have to wait and see and for my future build here or my version 2 i'm going to be making a larger fan blade here i'll be making like a bigger turbocharger um, cast here or something along those lines i'm not quite sure what this is called oh and definitely i need to make this thing a little bit longer i'll show you why here is the sleeping pad right and like i said it has this foam inside of here that you can just put it on the ground put your feet on it and just press on it like this and it's gonna take ear in here and blow it out into the whole thing so that's why i make this and i just plug it in here and then just turn on it and then just gonna blow air into it but like i said i make this a little bit too short and a little bit too small it's actually just the perfect size but i need to make it a little bit bigger so that i can shove it into this hole there <laughs> and actually get it to stuck in there so that no air can escape from this thing and yeah like i said it's not the best design there's like lots of room to improve on this even the wiring and stuff like that let me know in the comments down below how can i make this a lot better and yeah i'm gonna reassemble everything and show you how it worked so like i said it's very simple you just wire everything in and then just put this thing in it oh, oh yeah and by the way the way i get this to fit really nicely is because i made these right here right as you can see these offsets here one here one on the other side here one here and then one on the other side here so that when i push this thing in these actually makes contact with this piece and so it gives more of a tighter fit but not way too tight that you cannot pull it out anymore it just gives the perfect fit so that when you do this thing it does not come off unless until you really pull it so i love this design so for this one the tolerance is a little bit too big so i gotta hold this but for the, my next design it's gonna be so much better so let me show you how this works so just turn it on put it in here like this and it's working a little bit but it does not blow air that much because the fan is way too small the motor is not that strong i need more voltage i need more battery and stuff like that which will be coming in my later video for the version 2 i know i know i can just buy one off of amazon and stuff like that but why do that when you can 3d print yourself and make it your own and make it unique and why waste your 3d printers just sitting on the shelf doing nothing when you can design these make something really good something really cool that you made yourself and it's just amazing i know this is super simple and super easy to do but if you're just starting in designing stuff like these like like me it's quite complicated and it's quite exciting when you actually make it work lower air and yeah that's basically it with this video of me showing you what i've been working on this small ear blower trying just to inflame my sleeping pad just a fun way to do it i can just yeah i can buy it but what's the fun in that right another improvement will be coming for this thing and thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing